so anyway, they have the um, facility locked down. They've got security now at every entrance. They are refusing to let this woman fill out uh, discharge papers for her mother. She has been at this for hours now. We've called the sheriff asking for help in Clark County um, and not gotten any help there, but now they've called the sheriff. So now all of a sudden the sheriff is going to come. So again, we're down here with a good group of people, but if you can put the call out and please get more people to, to show up. Um, Gail needs to be released, Gail Meyer. And um, at this time, the 80123 number is not letting us send out any text messages. So don't know what's going on, but it seems like uh, potentially maybe the uh, phone providers have gotten together and stopped allowing the text to be sent out. So we can't do a call to action that way. So if you can please, please, please share this on social media, um, especially anybody in the Washington area. We're at Legacy Salmon Creek, Legacy Salmon Creek in Vancouver, Washington. And we are trying to get a pace, pace, patient discharge that they're holding against her will because she will not take a COVID test. She was admitted last night with a UTI. That is all she has. She was given fluids and told to stay for the night and take an antibiotic and she could go home. And now because she has refused to test, they are holding her against her will and they are not letting her, her daughter, who is her medical power of attorney, they will not let her daughter see her. This mother has um, a brain tumor from about 20 years ago that she had um, removed, but not all of it was removed. So she gets a little spacey and forgetful and she is being held inside this hospital against her will because she will not take a COVID test and her daughter is not being allowed to come. We're in Vancouver, Washington. Um, if you guys can please get this message out there and get people to show up and, um, and make sure that we're able to see justice today, which would be somebody being able to leave the hospital if they wanna leave the hospital and not being held against their will because they will not take a COVID test. This is disgusting, America. This is so wicked. So Dr. Scott still has um, her primary doctor on the phone. So here's the deal. I will try and facilitate that since I will be going to my school. I need you to do something for me. Yeah. This is an issue. Mm -mm. What is Having people block mm -mm. doors to a hospital. No, no doors are blocked. Five yeah, people just walked in and got admitted. And no, the doors. I've had on no this we're not. Time. Yeah. We haven't blocked anybody. No. It, it's not, it hasn't been busy. We haven't prohibited anyone from coming in. No. She's the, the power of attorney. She needs to go be with her, her, her mom. And the only people that are being rejected are. are you? We're, I'm, she's I'm, not I'm even not, in there. No, we would say until we see. We're out of the way. Come look. So what is he talking about? Where's the law? Come on, let's get in and make sure they don't. Okay. See, look at this. They said people need to get out of the way. There's nobody blocking this door. Nobody blocking the door whatsoever. The only people that haven't been allowed. People are being able to come and go. And we're on the left and the right. Thank you so much, Dan, for texting Gavin. Show us the law! Show us the law! We called the sheriff's office. We called the sheriff's office twice and they would not come to support us, but they came to support the hospital. They came when the hospital called, but not the people. This is medical kidnapping. Her power attorney needs to come in now, not later. Sheriff, Hoppy, I need you to come talk to me now, please. I need my mother discharged now. This is medical kidnapping. I'm her power of attorney, I'm her voice, and I want her released now. I've already got her doctor on the phone. I've got a prescription ready for her for antibiotics since Dr. Trent doesn't want to do the right thing here. Nobody has even called me to question me or talk to me at all until I started calling. I'm her caregiver. 
it. Go in, Sad. Go in. tested her we won't have results back for 24 hours that's why she's now being quarantined she's not even here for any flu-like symptoms she's here because she had a uti last night this is at legacy salmon creek in vancouver washington where the police just maced us grabbed people by their necks a mother the woman who has the power of attorney over the patient they won't even let her in to do a well check on her they won't let her in to talk to her at all and instead they mace us like a bunch of freaking cowards Cause that, this guy right it here, so much this guy right here, defend us. right there, here the one right us. there is the one and who maced us because he's a freaking coward. Oh wait, where's where's his name tag now, you guys? Look, everyone else has also, name tags except for him because he's a freaking coward. Sheriff Courier.
the power of attorney is trying to take her home and they will not let her. She was admitted for a UTI. Why don't any of you guys have name tags on? Why don't any of you guys have name tags on? There is a 74 year old woman who just wants to go home. She was admitted last night with a UTI. A UTI, we've been talking to everybody. The power of attorney wants to take her mother home and they won't let her go home. Yeah, because that's what you guys are concerned about, right? As you're getting out long guns and riot gear. Be careful, they hold patients against their will though. Be careful in here, okay? They'll call the cops if you try to leave. Please, you guys get people down here. I don't even know what to do. This poor woman just wants to take her mother home. She's 74 years old and was admitted for a freaking UTI last night. And now this, and now this, this is insane. This is like our entire freaking sheriff's department here because somebody wants to be released from the hospital. She has a UTI and she wants to go home and they won't let her. And that's why you were called, do you care? They won't let the power of attorney go in and be with her 74 year old mom. She wants to discharge her. And they said, no, that doesn't matter. Where's all your guys' name tags? Why'd you all take your name tags off? Why are you, why do you have your hand on a gun? What is it? What is it? Oh, so it's a gun. It's less lethal force. A less, less lethal force gun, right? So it is a gun. Why are you holding it? We're trying to get a patient discharged. We're not crazy people. We're trying to get a mother discharged who wants to go home. Who has a UTI? Okay, she was admitted for 24 hours of fluids and antibiotics. And when her daughter came to get her, they said she won't take a COVID test. Sorry, you can't go in and see her. Are you serious? What country are we in? She doesn't have to take a test. She came in for a UTI. She didn't come in because she has any symptoms of any sickness. No, you don't care, do you? What's your badge number? What is, what? Your sergeant? No, you're actually legally required to give your badge number. 4973, what's your badge number? 4925. 4925, since they've all taken off all of their stupid, what is your badge number? 4930. Which one of you guys killed Kevin Peterson Jr., any of you? Huh? Oh, I didn't expect to hear that, did you? What's your badge number? What is your badge number? What is your badge number?